Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Zodrik and I'm here with another tutorial and I'm back. This is going to be a full tutorial on how to make a basic 2D platformer on Construct 3. There's going to be a multi-episode uh, tutorial and hopefully by the end of this tutorial, you guys will be pros. And I mean it, you guys are going to be pros at Construct 3, man. Like, let's just get into it and we're just going to click on new project to start off once you're already on the Construct 3 page. And uh, you can try this with the free version of Construct, don't get me wrong, you'll be able to do a lot of this with the free version. However, you, if honestly, if you want to export it, if you want to have more lines of code, you will want to have the premium, but it all works. And my one's in dark mode, your one's not going to be in dark mode, but don't worry, it really doesn't change anything. And if you have the paid version, you can also make it dark mode. If you have the free version, you can only keep it in light mode. But really, that's irrelevant information. Let's just get into the project. So we're going to make a 2D game. And we're just going to call it 2D game y, uh, YT. And we're just going to go over with the basic settings right here. We're just going to keep our landscape 16 to 9. We're going to keep the viewpoint as it is. I think that's a decent viewpoint. You guys can change it to whatever resolution you want. I usually make my games at this resolution, actually. I kind of like it. It fits most screens. And it can resize to, to approximately anything because it's ratio 16 to 9. Uh, obviously, landscape, uh, event style. And we're going to click, uh, your one's probably going to be unchecked. Make sure you check optimize for pixel art, unless you don't want to make this pixel art. This tutorial, I'll be making my art slightly pixel art. I won't be making too much art because this is more about the, the development side and you can make your own art yourself. But I do prefer making it in pixel art. It's much easier. And if you're not great at art, you can do it. All right, so we go here and let's see. Okay, what do we do now? So first thing I usually do is once I click on my first layout is I will start editing my uh, my layers here. If you have the free version, you won't be able to do this. If you have the paid version, make sure you do this. So I'm going to rename this to background because this is our first one that we have. And we're going to right click and add a layer on top and we're going to call it a game. And then we're going to right click it again and add layer on top and we're just going to add ui that's usually what i do you can add a lot more but that's just what i do to keep it simple and then once i click the background click the background on left on properties you're not going to change the background color you can change it to white or you can change it to black i'm going to change it to black i think that'll be cool we can create a space theme game you know like a space platformer something like that and next thing we're going to do is we're now going to go into our uh, game and we're actually gonna go here and copy our viewport size so we're gonna click on here and click Control c or just right click copy and we're gonna go into our layout and we're actually gonna change the margins to that as well and we're gonna change the size to that as well and as you can see on now game so i'm not sure if you saw right here i went to layout and i changed the size we copied and we pasted our number that we got from here just in case you didn't catch that i know i'm going pretty fast Hopefully you can catch up. I just don't want to go too slow for the people who do like going through fast for a tutorial. And I know I'm waffling a lot and I'm speaking too much. So let's get into it. So now that we have this set up, uh, I'm next going to just rename our layer to game. Actually, you know what? We're going to rename it instead to level underscore one. And that's going to come in useful later because I'm going to show you a cool technique to have multiple levels. So we're just going to call this as a level one and we're going to rename our game sh our event sheet. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this rename really quickly by pressing F2 once I've clicked it for anyone who doesn't know. I'm just going to call it main sheet this is where most of our information is going to be because this is a simple platformer we don't need multiple sheets if you do want that i'll probably after this tutorial make a more advanced game where i'll probably build upon this game or start fresh depending on what you guys want obviously if you want me to make anything comment section down below go ahead we're now going to double click on our screen right here uh, in our game designing area which is going to double click and we're going to type in sprite we're now going to create our main character and once you clicked on sprite and searched for sprite once you click on your screen somewhere you're going to be launched with this thing which is basically the art editor and because we're going to keep it simple i'm just going to click this resize button over here you don't need to use this to make your art i'll probably make another video on how to make this this is really complicated it's really silly but for beginners it's, it's very useful so we're actually going to change the uh, pixels to 16 by 16. this is much easier to draw in for beginners as you can see you can even go 8 by 8 if you wish and to be honest for the simplicity i'm going to go 8 by 8 just to create the most basic character we can possibly make and we're just going to zoom into here and make a make a character uh, we're going to make a green character why not it doesn't really matter this is this is just a silly game i'm making here i'm just going to make a silly character you know oh, yeah, let's make him like this and you know we're just going to give him his little legs here and we're just going to make him like here i'm just going to give him some white eyes yeah just white eyes you know and, you know why not just some eyelashes and there we go we got a little alien going 
And once we click X, it will be added into our game. But as you can see, it is very tiny. And why is that? It's because we made it 16 by 16. But obviously, we want it to be bigger. We just wanted the drawing to be bigger. So if you click on it, as you can see now, we have a bunch of properties on the left. So if you go into size, we can actually change the scale. We can either edit it the size or, or, or on its own, like you can change it to very detailed, or you can click the arrow and you actually can go to the percentages. So let's make it maybe 500 by 500%. And wow, that is now a size that is pretty cool. Let's just zoom in. It's pretty big though, and I think we can make it smaller because if we want to make a platformer, we don't want a massive character, do we? So actually, let's go back into size and change it, I don't know, 300%. With 300%, that should give us a character, a bit of a smaller look, but it will be nice because uh, due to the size of our viewport, as you can see, it's fairly small compared compared to the character now. So now let's make a platform. Before we add any code, we just want to add the platform as well. So we're going to click, so we're going to type in sprite again. I'm going to put it down here and let's make the platform white. Let's resize it to 8x8. That will be our standard size for this. And let's just fill it in using the fill tool on here. If I'm going fast, make sure you pause the video and just look where my mouse is going. And if you want any help, shoot your comment in the comment section down below. And because this is a platform, we're just going to resize it to whatever because we're not adding proper art to it. So we can just resize it here and we can just add it here. Maybe a, a jump here so we can test it out later. All right, so let's click play. What happens now? Hmm. So I'm pressing my buttons on my keyboard and nothing is going on. And that is obviously because we haven't added any instructions or code to our characters. But remember, there's going to be basically no programming in this. Like, actually, no programming. That's what the title says. We're actually going to click on our character here. We're going to go down on, on the properties bit on the left. We're going to click uh, edit behaviors. In here, we're going to actually give it the behavior when, when scrolling down platform. This now means when we click play, our character should have gravity. As you can see, it fell. It fell. All right, it fell. Hmm, why is that? Because now we need to make our platforms have a behavior as well. So we add a behavior, we can click add a behavior, and we can click solid. This will now mean this one will be solid, but okay, another thing. This one will be solid, but this one won't be because we individually added the behaviors. Here it did it, but for like more often, you should click on your sprite here in your project file before changing the behaviors. That was my mistake because that then makes it global. It makes it for all the sprites that you made like that. Now, if we click play, we just make it full screen so it's easier to see. Our character no longer falls through the platform. And if we press our arrow keys, look at that. Our character can move. Look at that. We've got basic movement and our character can do things using the arrow keys. But what do we want? We want WASD and the possibility to use space. So if we want to make custom controls, we can click on our sprite here or here. We can click on the sprite here as well. And we can scroll down to where our behaviors are and where this now new behavior was added, which is platform. And we, you can obviously edit these values in your own time as well, which changes your max speed acceleration. I will recommend you to play around with that on your own to find something that suits you because everyone is different. Every developer does things their own way. But what we're going to do is turn off default controls. We don't want our control uh, our player to use the arrow keys. We want him to use WASD, which is more often known as the gamer keys on the keyboard. Now that we've disabled that, our character won't be able to move. So we need to go into our main sheet or right here that we created in our event sheets. And we have to go into here. We're just going to click add event. Uh, and also before we do that, let's rename our sprites. That will be very useful. So if you click F2 on them, you can, you can just type in player for the player. And for here, we can just type in platform. There we go. We got a player and we got a platform now. So let's just add an event for our player. And we can make movement so we can do um okay oh i forgot to add something in level uh back into our screen here so we're just going to type in on our layout gonna double click on the screen we're going to type in keyboard we're going to add keyboard i did forget to add that sorry sorry guys <laughs> so that should now be there that is required obviously and uh, we're going to click add event and we're this time going to click the keyboard and we're going to do uh key that key is down and we're going to do key and then let's do our w key first which is going to be a jump key we're going to add action player and we're just going to type in simulate simulate control and we're going to just do jump because that's what that's what we've done and we can just cut, uh, select that control c and then control v two more times and we can actually click on the double click on these and edit the buttons so let's now do left and for this one we're going to do right and okay and obviously we're now going to change it here so our a is going to be left 
and our D is going to be right. And I'm not sure if you got that, but uh, to edit these, you just have to double click on them really quickly. So now if we play our game, hopefully if everything was done correctly, we should be able to use our WASD keys. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So now let's also for our jump here, let's copy and paste that again. I'm actually going to add another key. We're going to add space. You don't have to add this, but we also want another jump. We want also this to do jump. We want our space and W to be able to do jump. That's specifically how a lot of games do it. Not every game. You don't have to add this. And to make our code, our code blocks look a lot nicer, if you press G on your keyboard, you can actually make a group. And you can only make groups here if you have the paid version, but don't worry, if you have the free version, it really isn't required. This should just look nicer. And we can just type in movement as the title. And then we can just select this holding control. By holding control, you can select multiple and you can just hold and drag and drag it under movement. And as you can see, our little bar here will put a show that it's now in this group. And we can just close that and we can hide that away. And we don't need to touch that now because we have basic movement. All right. So we've got basic movement, but now hmm, let's say I want to go from level to level, right? Obviously everyone wants to go from level to level and that's what we're going to do next episode. But don't worry guys, our next episode will be uploaded straight away after this one. Yeah, you heard me correctly, double upload. So don't worry guys, I just want to keep these videos not too long because it already is long and I know a lot of people don't like sitting through long tutorials. So I want to make this quick, snappy and entertaining for you guys. So my name has been Zodrake. Make sure to check out the next episode. Make sure to leave a nice comment, a like and subscribe. We're almost at 1000 subscribers guys. Bye bye.